Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Today I will show you how to use the Windows system configuration utility that comes built into Windows 10 to help boost and speed up your startup time in Windows 10. To find it, go to your search box, type in system. One of the headers that comes up will be called system configuration. Click on that. There you have your system configuration box which has been part of Windows for years and in my opinion there is no need to download and install third-party software to achieve the same task. Here you have all your tabs at the top. The first one is general. I do not change anything in the general tabs. It's general tab. The next one is called boot. Click on that. Here you will see a tab called advanced options. At the top you will see a checkbox called number of processes. As you can see, I've set mine to 4, which is the maximum amount of core processors my CPU has. It has been debated if this actually does help the, your startup time, speed up your startup time. I've experimented with this and I've found that in my case it does. So I check the number of processors and I set mine to my maximum amount, which is 4. And I find this does boost my startup in my operating system. The next one on the right is called maximum memory and yeah you can set your amount of RAM you have on your PC to whatever you want or set it to the maximum amount so you can set it to whatever you want your maximum amount of memory to be or set it to full like I have got here I don't check this I leave this unchecked because I found that this makes no difference in the start of time of my operating system Go to the bottom, click on OK. Yeah, in the boot tab on the bottom right here, you'll see a box for timeout and seconds. This is the amount of seconds that your Windows logo st stays displayed on your screen when you start your operating system. I think by default, Microsoft has set it to 30. I've set mine to 3, because I found this works best for me. Your next tab is services. Now services are processes from Microsoft or third party software that run in the background. It's not applications you can actually see on your screen visually. They are processes that are running in the background that you, that you are unable to see. Now the thing with services are they are essential for some software to run but also it, without it explains that the more services you have and processes running in the background, obviously the slower your computer will be and the slower your startup times will be. So to use this feature here, what we're going to do is go to the bottom left and you'll see a box, tick box here called Hard All Microsoft Services. Now when you check this, it takes away all the essential Microsoft services that your computer needs to run and leaves you with third party services for in my case I've got Intel, Fing, Google, Malwarebytes and Video Display. Now feel free to experiment here but if you don't know what once if you don't know what disabling a service will do, rather leave it alone. But for example sakes let's just uncheck Malwarebytes and then we'll click apply. I'm not going to do this in my case. This is just a visual to show you what to do. And um, then once you've unchecked the, the services you don't want running, just click apply. The next is startup. Then you'll see a tab here called Open Task Manager. This takes you actually to the task manager. And here you will see all the programs that are running when you start Windows. I have three running. And a lot of people actually have a lot that go right past the bottom of the screen. But I've tweaked mine. Over, over a while and I found that this is what I need to run my computer. So for example sakes if you don't want it to say we don't want Google Drive Sync what we do is we just go disable and as you can see I've now disabled it from startup. Go through and if you see anything there that you know you definitely don't need on Windows startup all you do is you go through the list and disable or enable whatever you need to help your boost your startup times. Check out of that. 
tools just gives you a whole lot of computer management tools that you can experiment with and view and troubleshoot. I do not touch this as I found no reason to. And there you have a quick and simple guide to use the system configuration utility to help boost and speed up your Windows 10 startup times. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.